Hi, this is CB, and this time, I, instead of a regular tutorial, I'm going to talk about getting started with Photoshop Element 6 if you're a scrapper and you're, you're wanting to go digital and you've just downloaded this program and you're thinking, what have I done? So, when you first load the program, the very first time this welcome screen will pop up. I guess it's a little bit self-explanatory, except I'm going to tell you that Elements is, I think, comprised of two programs, really. We've got what's called an organizer and an editor. The organizer is for loading up your pictures and being able to browse all these thumbnails of your pictures and choosing which ones you want to take into the editor, which is the next step where you would, would do the digital scrapbooking work. So once this is loaded up, I would suggest probably, I like to start my program at least with organizer. So I change this right down here from start up with welcome screen since this is kind of annoying to see every time, to start up with Organizer. So when you do start it, then you'll get to this next step here. You could just click on this right now, and it will pop up and show you this is the Organizer. Now this is the Organizer with some photos already in it. If you have just loaded this program, you're not going to have any photos in it. And there's two, way to get, two ways to get those photos in here. One is to connect your camera to your computer if you've got some that you've shot and you want to get into there. When you connect your camera via USB, and we're talking about Windows in this case, then a little dialog pops up usually that says something like, organize your photos with um, Adobe Photoshop Elements, and you would click OK. It's a li tiny little program called the, um, the Photo Downloader Runs, and will assign your photos to a certain folder that it creates, and then loads those into here, at least puts thumbnails of those photos into the organizer here program so that you can now browse through all those thumbnails and have the little representations of your picture so you know what you're going to be working with. So let's say I've done that, but the other way is that if you've got photos already on your computer that you want to get in here, go into file and then get photos and videos and click on that. Wait a minute and choose from files and folders and this allows you to browse on your computer and find what you want and you can move whole fo folders of pictures into here at least get the thumbnails representing them you don't necessarily have to move the location of your photos on your computer they could still be in my pictures for instance but now the organizer will know where excuse me where the <laughs> the um the location of those photos are so that when you click on a photo take it into the editor it says okay this photo is in my pictures for instance and I'm going to take it into the editor so the other thing I'll mention just quickly because I'm trying to get you know you started with digital scrapbooking with elements here and organizer doesn't really do the scrapbooking part is that if you've got photos that you've brought into the organizer here and they're oriented wrong meaning let's say this photo here of my daughter was turned sideways these two little buttons right here are rotating, will rotate that photo and put it in the correct orientation. I say that because I don't know why that's a little pet peeve of mine is when I have photos that are turned the wrong way, I like to be able to view them the way they should be viewed and not view them the wrong way. Now you see that, first of all, I should mention I've got this timeline here which by default is not going to show up when you start running Organizer. So that's under Window and then there's a little check mark. Once you get to the point where you have a ton of pictures to go through, I think this timeline really helps. It may not get you right on the mark of where you want to go, but it gets you in the ballpark if you know when a photo was taken. You can also, with this slider here, see I can make me have more photos on, or excuse me, this is actually less photos, but they're larger in terms of the thumbnails, or slide down and I can fit even more little thumbnails on the screen. And if you want to view a close-up of a particular photo, just double click on it here and then view of the single photo on itself. But the last step, of course, is to take this photo in and get it into the editor part to do the scrapbooking. So let's say I'm back here looking at all these thumbnails again. I'll just pick one. I'm not going to really open it up, but I'll click on the photo I want, take it, go up here to this corner where it says editor. And you can also right click, I believe, and choose this. Let me see if I do that. I'm going to turn my pen around here. Yes, you need to choose the full edit in terms of doing the scrapbooking. However, when you're first starting with Elements, you can go into Quick Fix first if your photo needs some work, like needs lightning, lightening up or um, 
a little bit more color or something like that or you want to maybe turn it black and white real fast quick fix has sliders and can do those things just as it said really quick and then there's a button even in there where you can choose the full edit because that's the really the next step is to take this photo into the full editor and talk about layers and get it to work in a scrapbook page and that's what we're going to talk about next I'm CB and thanks for watching